Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into Google Earth Engine, GEE, to visualize Ethiopia's boundaries at nighttime using night lights from VRS and Landsat 8 satellite imagery. We'll write a GEE script step by step and analyze satellite data for meaningful insights. So, let's get started. First, we need to load Ethiopia's boundary from the FAO GAL dataset. We use the ee.featurecollection function to access the dataset and filter for Ethiopia by its country name. This ensures we only select Ethiopia and not other countries. We will later use this boundary to clip our satellite data. Next, let's add nighttime light data from the VIRS satellite. This dataset provides monthly global illumination levels, which help us analyze human activity, urbanization, and energy consumption. The median function reduces noise by averaging monthly data. The dot clip Ethiopia function ensures we only display night lights within Ethiopia. Now, we apply a color palette to enhance visibility. Dark areas represent regions with no lights, while bright colors indicate high illumination levels. Black represents areas with no artificial lights. White slash yellow colors indicate highly illuminated regions like major cities. Now, let's add Landsat 8 satellite imagery. We filter the Landsat 8 TOA dataset for Ethiopia and select a specific time range. Filter bounds, Ethiopia, ensures we only select images over Ethiopia. Median, reduces cloud interference by averaging images over time. We'll use a false color composite using near-infrared, B5, red, B4, and green, B3, bands to highlight vegetation and land cover. This helps us differentiate vegetation, water bodies, and built-up areas. Finally, let's center the map on Ethiopia and add our layers and run the script. The center object function automatically zooms to Ethiopia. We add all layers to visualize both night lights and land cover. Results of Visualizing VRS Night Lights Data for Ethiopia When we visualize the VRS Night Lights data in Ethiopia using Google Earth Engine, the results provide valuable insights into human activities, urbanization patterns, and economic development. Below are key observations. 1. Brightest areas, major cities and urban centers. The most illuminated regions correspond to major cities such as Addis Ababa, Dire Dawa, 
and Mikkel, indicating high levels of human activity in infrastructure development. These areas have dense populations, active commercial zones, and well-developed road networks contributing to higher nighttime illumination. 2. Moderate light intensity, regional towns and growing cities. Cities like Bahir Dar, Hawassa, Jima, and Gondar show moderate light intensities, reflecting growing urbanization and infrastructure expansion. The presence of universities, industrial zones, and business hubs contributes to the increasing brightness in these regions. 3. Darkest areas, rural and undeveloped regions. Large portions of rural Ethiopia, particularly in the lowlands and remote highlands, remain dark due to limited access to electricity in lower population densities. Some agricultural zones and national parks also have minimal artificial lighting, making them appear as dark patches on the visualization. 4. Economic and Infrastructure Insights The concentration of bright areas aligns with key economic hubs, such as industrial parks and major transportation routes. Differences in illumination between regions can indicate economic disparities, levels of electrification, and urban expansion trends. Comparing night lights over time can reveal economic growth, new infrastructure projects, and changes in settlement patterns. 5. Use Cases for Decision-Making Urban planning helps city planners and policymakers assess infrastructure distribution and plan for future expansions. Energy access monitoring, useful for tracking electrification progress in rural areas and identifying regions needing energy investments. Disaster response and recovery, post-disaster assessments can compare light intensities before and after an event to understand the impact. And that's it. We successfully loaded Ethiopia's boundaries, visualized night lights using VRS, and displayed Landsat 8 imagery. These datasets are powerful tools for urban planning, land use analysis, and sustainability studies. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more GIS and remote sensing content.